Hello friends, in this tutorial we will be learning the four properties of fluids such as fluids first one mass density second one specific weight third one specific volume and the fourth one is specific gravity so first of all we will deal with mass density so what is mass density so I will give you the definition the definition of the mass density is it is the mass of fluid possessed possessed in units volume of liquid so let's take this as the jar containing liquid so it has b length l is h is the height h is the height l is the width and this is having complete water or any fluid okay so what is the mass density of fluid? this fluid is having a mass of m total mass of m it is having a total mass of m and it is having a volume of total volume of v now we consider unit volume in this mass can take this as the unit volume so this is the unit volume possessed so this is one this is also one and you take the amount of matter or the mass in this shaded volume it is called the mass density of fluid or mass density of any substances so what is the mass density mass density is equal to this total mass of fluid divided by the total volume and the note the point that this mass is same as you uh, as you go everywhere in the earth or you go in the even you go in the mass or moon you your mass will not change that is the mass is the amount of matter occur so mass density is constant mass density is constant so the mass density is constant and this what about the variation with the temperature and pressure so what happens when the temperature increases the molecules have the tendency to separate apart so as the temperature increases with increasing temperature the mass density will decrease it is because when you increase the temperature the molecules have the tendency to go apart as you as you see in the case of when you are heating the water it will go as steam 
so that the volume it will try to expand so that the mass density will decrease and in case of pressure as the pressure increases the the molecules will tend to go nearby and it is because the mass density is increasing with the pressure increase so the mass density is denoted by the red letter rho and rho is equal to m by v and rho is directly proportional to the pressure and rho is inversely proportional to the temperature so this is about the mass density of a fluid now we come to the specific weight specific weight so what is a specific weight and you consider again the same one this is the total volume and total mass you consider one area here so this is having a mass of m so what will be the weight of this fluid the mass m is equal to mass and the weight of this fluid will be w capital w is equal to that mass that is m into the acceleration due to gravity or in the case of earth we can take it as g so w that is total weight of the fluid is m into g and the v is the volume so in case of taking the mass in in a unit volume now we will take the weight of that unit volume so what will happen the specific weight or the specific weight or weight density we can denote specific weight as weight density also the specific weight can be also said weight density this is equal to the weight possessed in unit volume so this is the definition of the weight specific weight the specific weight is the weight possessed by the fluid in unit volume that is total weight divided by total volume it is equal to total weight is m into g divided by total volume so we can see that this m by v or oh, we have a correction here this is the value of we can take it as m capital m the w is equal to this is mass total mass into g and this is total m mass into g so what is this value m by g this m by g m by v is equal to weight density sorry space mass density we can take it as rho rho into g in case of earth so specific weight is denoted by the letter omega or small w so from the equation itself it is clear that from the equation itself it is clear that the weight density that is w is equal to rho into g so what will happen if you go from the polar to equatorial there will be a change in the g value and you can see there is a change in the specific weight the specific weight is not constant but the rho is constant so w can be vary and the rho cannot be vary now we comes to the third property that is specific 
volume. So what is the specific volume? Specific volume means that volume possessed for the unit weight. Once more, the volume required to occupy unit unit weight of the liquid. The volume required to possess the unit weight of liquid. That is, let us take the example of water and the volume required the volume required to possess one kilogram of water is called the specific volume of water okay so you have the w as your total volume w as your total weight and it is occupied in a volume of v and the specific weight is the total volume divided by specific weight is specific weight sorry specific volume is equal to specific volume is equal to the v divided by w that is volume required to occupy one kg of any fluid volume required to occupy one kg or one unit of any fluid is specific weight specific volume and you can see that this is the inverse of the specific weight and the specific volume specific volume specific volume can be denoted by the letter mu or small v this is equal to v by w and that is again equal to 1 by w by v that is equal to 1 by small w so the specific weight is the inverse of the specific volume or specific volume is inverse of the specific weight so this is the definition for specific weight and as in the case of weight the, the mu value is also not constant it will vary now we comes to the fourth property that is specific in gravity so it is a most important property of any fluid and it is by definition it is the ratio of specific weight that is w of any fluid to the specific weight of water or any standard fluid and so the specific gravity is denoted by the letter g and g is equal to w of fluid to the w of water or any standard fluid in case of fluids the standard fluid is taken as water at 4 degrees celsius it is because that at this 4 degree celsius the water shows the low, lowest volume and if you increase beyond the 4 degree celsius the the volume of water will increase and if you decrease below the 4 degree celsius this the 
the volume will also the volume decreases sorry increases so this is the value of g and if g is if you calculate g is equal to 1 it means that it is the having the same specific weight of water at 4 degrees celsius so space so same specific weight of water at 4 degrees celsius and if g is less than 1 it means that the specific weight of the fluid is less than specific weight of water so that you can float the body and if you consider a body is floating so this is the water level and so it is floating so that the the g value of this will be less than 1 so that it can float on the liquid if g is greater than 1 if g is greater than 1 the body will sink to the bottom of the fluid so if you take steel steel is having greater specific weight specific weight it is almost 7.85 so almost 8 times greater than the specific weight of water and it, it will sink to the bottom and if you take a wood plank wood for using for making boards and it is having a value of point eight or 2.9 like this value and then this will float on the body and also some there are other principles like meta center and other uh, it will we will cover it in the other tutorials and for in case of specific gravity the value should be less than is equal to one then this can be float on the body so this is the concept of specific rate and you have to note a point here the that g is equal to what is the specific weight of a fluid that is the specific mass mass density that is rho into g divided by weight of water rho w rho w into g in earth so g will be cancelled rho by rho w and specific gravity is also is equal to mass density of any fluid mass density divided by what is rho w rho w is taken as thousand kilogram per meter cube so this is the value of specific gravity so friends i hope that you understand the all the pro the four properties and if you like this video share and subscribe like the video share and subscribe and then only